Welcome to Electron Online. Our next molecule is going to be C2H4, also known as ethylene, to be differentiated from ethane. Ethane is C2H6. So what is the difference between C2H6 and C2H4? Well, notice we have two carbons, so that they're going to form a carbon string. And we have two hydrogen atoms, which are going to be attached to the outside carbons like that. So we're going to have one hydrogen here and here forming a single bond to carbon here. We have a hydrogen here and here forming a single bond to carbon there. So now you see that each of those two carbons has two bonds already taken up. Carbons, they have four valence electrons, which means there's two additional electrons to be used in bonding. And since they need to bond to each other, they each have two valence electrons available. That means we're going to form a double bond between the two carbons, taking up those two valence electrons. Now, how is that molecule going to look in a physical shape? The electrons here and the electrons here in the bonds formed between hydrogen and carbon are going to be repelling the electrons here. They want to be as far away from, as possible from these two sets of electrons and they want to be as far away as possible from those electrons. So you would not expect a bend shape because when you start bending the molecule that brings those electrons closer together, repulsive forces become greater. So the repulsive forces can only be uh, minimize if they're as far away from each other as possible so that it will stretch the molecules into a flat shape so you can basically think about it as a planar shape it's kind of linear planar shape so you expect the whole molecule to appear like this between the two carbons is a double bond hydrogen here here in the same plane and hydrogen here and here in the same plane. Notice there's no free electrons anywhere on any of the hydrogens or the carbons. Uh, so you end up with a structure like that and by necessity in order to minimize repulsive forces you want to have them all in the same plane as far away from each other as possible. And that's how you end up with a planar molecule like that.